The Indiana Supreme Court will begin hearing one of its most high profile cases in recent history. It is the challenge to Indiana's near total abortion ban. Yeah, it passed last summer by Republican lawmakers, but has been on hold since September. And Cameron Riddle, he's live at the State House with a preview of what's expected today, including the start of multiple protests and demonstrations from both sides. Good morning. Good morning. More than 100 pro abortion protesters are expected to be here at the State House to make their voice and their presence known as the Indiana Supreme Court begins its hearing on Indiana's abortion ban. It's a topic that has a lot of people, including state lawmakers, divided. The law would ban abortions in Indiana at all stages of pregnancy. There are some exceptions in cases of rape, incest, risk to the mother's health, and a lethal fetal anomaly. The lawsuit heard today claims a right to privacy violation under the Indiana Constitution. Pro-abortion rights protesters will also be inside of the state house today. They say a woman's decision on pregnancy and abortion should only involve her doctor and her. We're hoping that you know we can all unite together and show Rokita and show the Republicans in this state that this abortion is should be legal and that's what people want. Attorney General Todd Rokita says the people trying to stop Indiana's abortion ban are misunderstanding the state's constitution. They now make the baseless claim, for example, that our own Indiana constitution somehow protects abortion. But rest assured that we will keep fighting for the precious right to life and the proper interpretation of our constitutions, both state and federal. Pro-abortion supporters will start arriving here at the State House at about 8 o'clock this morning. This will be the first of multiple protests we're expecting here in downtown Indy. Anti-abortion abortion group Right to Life Indiana has a similar day plan on Monday with hundreds of Hoosiers expected to attend the Indiana March for Life. They'll gather along Georgia Street and then march to the state capitol. That all starts at noon on Monday. We're live this morning at the State House. I'm Cameron Riddle, Fox 59 News.